Yo guys, what is up? It is Teacher's Game 2 coming at you again with another video here, and I am here to show you a really awesome way to level up over on Aberration. Now, I know a lot of people have hard times leveling up, but this is a great way to power level. All you need, Megalosaurus, Hazard Suit, and some Light, and that's it. Literally all you're going to need. Now, we'll see how much my Hazard Suit has left. Not a whole heck of a lot, but still pretty easy. All you're going to do is you're going to go down here and you're going to find a bunch of Reapers and I guess all the other high leveled stuff like Rock Drakes and stuff and you get a ton of XP from them. Now to show you a comparison, we'll go ahead and see what I start with before we even go down here. So I am starting with, wow that's a big number, uh, 5735114. Okay, so remember that. Now you can get from one Reaper just off the back of your uh, Megalo. If you get a high level Reaper, you are looking in the 50 to 60,000 experience points. Now, if you do this for a day, you can easily hit 100. Now, here's the other awesome thing about being down in this zone. There's all kinds of Carnos, all kinds of other things that give you experience points, and it's really, really nice. Now, basically, you're just going to go in and I guess I should show you where I am. Right about there. And you're literally just going to go down here, and you're going to locate yourself. See him in front of me? Oh, that stuff popping up. Oh, there she goes. I have to get a quick screenshot of her. And she will pop out of the ground. And sometimes you get lucky and get some high level ones, which means you can literally level them and make them yours. A 90 is not going to be good enough. Now you could kill them down here pretty easily with a Megalosaurus. You don't have to though. That's just me telling you that ahead of time. You can just bring them out of the zone so you don't waste your rad suit, which I'm going to do because I don't have a superb amount of my rad suit left. So I'm just going to go ahead and avoid it. But as long as you have your light on, a Megalo will absolutely chew through a Reaper. And I'll show you how fast it goes. A level 90 is probably going to give me about 50k experience, which I am certainly not going to complain about. So now you can see that I've hit the point where I no longer am in the rad zone. So at this point, I'll typically turn around and just start shredding. Now, the only thing that really does any frustration, doesn't even really do damage, is that spin attack. All the other things you don't really need to worry about as a Megalo, um, just because that's how it works. So you got Seekers. I accidentally kill a couple of those, because Megalos just shred through this stuff. Now, the other benefit about Megalos is because they're pretty good in tank-wise, you can pretty much take on any number of these Reapers and not really worry about getting killed at all. Um, you can see this one's already almost dead. Megalos with light just shred Reapers. It's not even close. Like tamed Reapers, untamed, they get pooped on by Megalos. So, anyways, as you can see, oof, duh, come on now. This thing's almost dead, and you're going to get about 50 to 60k experience. Now, again, think about it this way. It only took me about, what, maybe a minute or two to kill this thing? There you go. So, there you go. Five seven seven six seven or six three seven three. So there's a lot of experience that you just gain right there. Um, you get the Reaper Pheromone Glands, which you need for Aberration Boss. You get Nameless Venom because the Nameless inevitably spawn near you. You get a bunch of useful stuff. I mean, if you really need oil and stuff like that, it's a good meat run tactic too. Um, and that's just how it is. And uh, for those of you who are like, this is this is 100% on a PvP server. This is our old line of Megalos, so they're not even that great. Um, you can get much, much, much better Megalos on official servers than the one that I'm rocking right now. And uh, it, this is just a great way to power level because you just literally go up and down this. And just how the game works, they oh, there's a Perlovia right there, so I'm trying to be careful of that. There it is. So if you can pick a line, Perlovias have a hard time of getting to you. So that's usually the best way to do it. Alright, there's that, and you can see a ton of meat, so I mean this is not a bad meat run, if you need a meat run. Um, I don't see anything back there, but all you're looking for in the ground is those little puffs of dirt, I suppose you could call it that. I don't. There they are, see them again. That is a Reaper Queen. You have to get close, she'll pull herself out of the ground. Now there's a 95, don't really care about her as a 95, so you can, just to show you. You can also do the attacks down here. Now what I do is I try and position myself towards a wall so when she does knock me, it's not very far. 
um, and you don't really take too much damage at all. So you can do this. Um, I'm already level 111-ish, something like that. Um, if I'm sitting down here for, I don't know, four or five, six hours, I can easily hit 115, 120. So really, I don't want to. I just wanted to show a couple people because a couple of my tribe mates are like, how do I level if I'm just on aberration? Because a lot of people don't, they just use killing Giga's technique to power level themselves. But if you get a Megalo, you can power level insanely quick with these. Now I also want to like back up so I can get a good screenshot because this is cool. I mean, these things are just super pretty. And maybe in, I guess here's another hidden benefit. If you get a good one, you can actually, uh, sorry for all those screenshots. You know, I just like taking screenshots. But anyways, if you get a good one, you also get yourself a baby and you're good to go. So that right there, we're looking at like 120k experience between those two, and that is not bad, considering that we didn't really work hard at all in order to get that. And if you have yourself like a booster on or something like that, you can get a crazy amount of XP really fast. Now just to show you where you could go in order to get some more stuff, I'm going to go ahead and drop this off. If you go down here, um, and you just follow this pathway down kind of, you'll end up in an area where you can get more Reaper Queens. So you can do like two or three, and then you have to go back up to the top like where we were originally. Something after me. Uh, Perlovia. Oh well. They are not super fast, so I'm not concerned at all. But everything valuable is down here. And, you know, another good thing about this type of run, if you go down here with a, let's say one of your buddies, and you're trying to harvest Polymer or harvest anything, you can protect them with your Megalo, and it really is that easy. Um, these things just get absolutely crapped on. These Seekers. Literally nothing in this game can stand up to a Megalo. The only thing that can is a Gigantosaurus or a Giganotosaurus, depending on how you want to say it. Nothing else in this map can beat a Megalo. Now, the only thing to beat it is you grapple it and weigh it down. Other than that, this is the ultimate PvP on NAB because you'll just get shredded. Like, there's literally nothing. Um, I guess... I mean, some air... I mean, Manic Armors, or however you say their name, they can probably beat them. You see that Reaper Queen just goes in the ground right here. Let's see what level she is. I always turn my light on. Come on, go away. And I'll show you this last one. Probably a low level. Yep, just a 50. So we'll kill her real quick, and it's going to go really fast because she's a lower level. She still probably has about 40 to 50k health. And to give you a perspective, this one right here, this, uh, wow, I can't think of his name, Megalosaurus, with light on does about 1,000 damage per bite per time he actually hits this thing. So I should shred this thing pretty quick. It's already bloody, as you can see. I'll kill this last one, and then I'll hopefully you guys enjoy this little power leveling video. It really is super fast. It's not something that's difficult at all. So, anyways, come on now. You should be. How are you taking so many hits? I feel like you should be gone by now. Oh well. But if you have any requests or anything else, make sure to say something, and I will uh, try and make some videos that help you out and uh, keep doing some fun stuff. Come on, I was I had I had that originally timed, I thought well, but this thing decided it had more health than I thought it did. There we go. Now I can say it. Teacher's game too.